Uh, greetings everyone, and today I would like to talk about the evil and there is a many questions, is there evil, what is an evil, how evil tastes like and uh, how does it feel uh, to be abducted by an alien evil or something like that. So uh, all you need to know uh, that there is no evil in this middle earth and well uh, that's pretty much for today and thanks for watching. But uh, there is always this uh, possibility that uh, you know this uh, one answer is uh, you know uh, one uh, ninety ninety percent true, but there is always this one percent uh, but. Uh, of course, uh, this um, uh, can be true in ninety nine point ninety nine percent, but uh, there is always this zero point zero one percent. Uh, evil. Our universe, or our, this Middle Earth, is so vast and big, so uh, this 0.01% uh, uh, is going to be a huge. And if you look at the human consciousness, and uh, when you think that human consciousness is equally big as our universe, evil is, has a very big place in it. And a person without evil is believed to be a not complete. Not complete. You need to have an evil order to be a complete person. Imagine that um, you know, your friends went to see a tar, and you like this, you know, man's body. Uh, this man's body is so evil, so sexy, and uh, his this uh, stone hard muscles are ready for stress, ready for evil action. And with his hammer, he smashes this um, uh, other, you know, enemy dudes. And you, uh, you know, get some, you know, entertainment, you get some pleasure from this. And imagine that your friend is not having any pleasure and sitting like this and saying that, you know, ah, this is wrong, this is a violence, you know, this is, you know, uh, this is a stupidity, this is something, something, blah, blah, blah. You, uh, you think that your, you know, friend's consciousness is not complete. And uh, what is an evil? Um, you know, uh, there was this, uh, you know, channel, Pagan Perspective. You can go there and, you know, uh, hear that there is no such thing as evil. But uh, in Buddhism, there is uh, evil, and evil uh, is uh, the foundation stone of this, uh, how to say, uh, wheel of time or wheel of life. In the core, there is a chicken, snake, and a pig. And these creatures uh, represent ignorance, stupidity, and lust. And Buddhists will tell you that uh, from this uh, element, from this spirit, comes an evil. Um, I must admit that this is a very good idea. And since stupidity is the most common element of this Middle Earth, it seems evil is the most common element. So, um, when you are playing a chess, you have these you know, two sides. You must choose one side and you must fight um, for you know, survival. Will you choose uh, the king of lions? No, king of beasts, a lion. This is a Tibetan snow lion. Or uh, this, uh, you know, tiger. Tiger has no much of a title. He is a good warrior. And a tiger is a, uh, you know, warrior with a good weapon. In real life, everyone knows that tiger uh, can kick a lion very easily. So uh, you choose uh, tiger as a spiritual, you know, uh, symbol, a totem creature. So uh, there is, you know, this uh, intelligence. One part of evil is an intelligence. So uh, when there is, you know, this competition, uh, there is a desire, there is a lust to win. Uh, and you need 
intelligence you need wisdom to you know uh, win uh, if there is aliens and if there is these aliens are you know smart they will uh, probably try to exterminate us why it is because you know when you have captured uh, some you know enemy creatures and these enemy creatures are begging for mercy uh, you think that you know this enemy can grow in numbers and these enemies are going to someday fight your own kind your children so you decide to kill these enemies uh, of course this is an evil consciousness and this is a something that is called how to say called logic or it is an evil logic so uh, of course the origin of evil starts with the um, intelligent uh, life form and this evil always been always will be and uh, this uh, has origin as a very ancient origin when our ancestor took his weapon and uh, you know showed others that how he evil he was you know ah, something like that so uh, you know this um, when you choose uh, these weapons uh, and your you know this um, intelligence tells you that you know this weapon is far more better than this primitive weapon so um, you are still here you are still surviving and you are keeping your genes of your ancestors and it means your ancestors were quite um, good at survival they fought their way in this you know evil middle earth since this you know uh, stupidity ignorance and lust is the key you know this foundation stone for this middle earth uh, your ancestor managed to survive in this middle earth and uh, you still here it means um, you have this evil genes so um, you know there can be you know um, very civilized very smart uh, very humane people but if you uh, tickle them or if you make them angry anyone can turn into a evil and this evil you know is inside our consciousness and it is better to you know keep them keep it you know sleep well uh, that's what i think about the evil and evil can be a different from time to time and nowadays i think the most evil for our mongols is the selfishness stupidity and you know laziness well uh, that's pretty much for today and thanks for watching